Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to give you the best answer to the job interview question, why did you leave your last job? There are many variations of this question, but they're all really asking the same thing, so we give them all the same answer. Now this seems like a simple, harmless, factual question, right? But it's really a very damaging and dangerous question in disguise. Now not always, but often, recruiters will ask it to see if you're the type of person that will badmouth their previous employer or boss or coworkers. And that's a very bad thing because if you're the type of person that will badmouth them, you'll probably badmouth people at this current job if they were to hire you. I mean, would you hire someone who spreads bad things about you behind your back? Now, this is a negativity question. It can be a more subtle form of what didn't you like about your previous boss or company? Often, when interviewers ask a question, whether they're a recruiter or a hiring manager, there's almost always a question beneath the question. It's important to know what they're really asking. You also want to avoid using negative words or expressing negative ideas. This is because if they've just met you and they're still forming an impression of you, if you start talking about all the people you don't get along with, and the situations that didn't work out for you, they're gonna assume you're a very negative, problematic person. That's why we need to put a positive spin on every single interview question, even negativity questions like this one. Now remember, we always tell the truth, but we don't always disclose everything. And we don't wanna take up valuable interview time talking about our last job. The purpose of the interview is to communicate your value and how you meet all the requirements. So if you could spend 30 to 45 seconds on this question and then move on, that would be perfect. Now remember, no character assassinations. This always leaves a bad first impression of you. Never say bad things about people. No matter what you feel about them, say only good things about them in the interview. You can mention that it was a challenge because of a difference of opinion, but then tell a success story about you and them. And if you're called to say a negative thing about your previous job and you're a manager, having to fire people is a good answer. Often it comes with the territory and it's perfectly normal and okay to dislike having to fire someone. So if that's you, there's your perfect answer. Arguably, sometimes unpleasant but necessary. Now, if you were laid off from your previous position, there's no harm in saying this. You can explain that the organization was downsizing or your term expired. And if there were several people that were laid off at the same time, say that because it provides further evidence that there's nothing specifically wrong with you as an employee. Now, if you left your last position, there's no harm in saying that either. Maybe the job was great, but unfortunately there weren't really any opportunities for growth or personal development. You feel you're ready to do more, and that's a great trait in candidates. Now, if you were fired from your previous position, here's where things get a bit tricky. The standard answer here is to admit that you were fired, focus on what you learned from this experience, and tie it to the current job. And that may work some of the time. It depends on who's interviewing you. However, there's one big problem with that. A central tenet of recruitment theory is that past behavior predicts future behavior. Behavioral-based questions, which are extremely popular these days, are based on that principle. It also implies that past behavior is a better predictor than current impressions. And all that backs up my personal experience that if they ask you this at an early stage interview and you say you were fired, that's grounds to eliminate you, period. Now what I'm about to say may be controversial to some, and if you disagree with me, that's perfectly okay. But this is from my own personal experience, as well as that of an internationally known high-level executive recruiter with whom I've worked. Don't say you were fired. Don't lie, but don't volunteer this. A job interview is not a deposition, and you don't have to reveal this if you don't wish to. If you get to the last round of interviews, there may be more room to safely get into the details of this if it comes up again. If you must give a reason, speak instead about the problem that led to your firing. For example, maybe the role changed and the new direction didn't really play to your strengths or your interest, but it reinforced your interest and talent for the original role. And so you've been engaged in researching companies like this one where you can use your talents to contribute significantly. Focus on your strengths and then talk about how they apply to this current job. And if you're in an early stage interview, try to avoid using the words, 
I was fired. And there you go. To learn how you can get hired or advance your career, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. You are awesome. Now, I was, I was gonna tell them all the usual stuff about, you know, like liking the video, subscribing, what was it? Share, you gotta share it, and the, the, the bell, right? The bell icon, the little icon, hit it, right? Hit.